hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel it is victor once again it's another day and we have another scholarship in case you're joining us for the first time thanks for coming but where have you been there are lots of materials already on this channel on fully funded scholarships from around the world so look around i'm sure you'll find something that catches your interest and of course you can apply for multiple scholarships and become a multi-award winning scholar so let's go to the business of the day. Today we're in Canada at the House University in search of masters and PhD opportunities. So right off the bat, um, on the website and on the page, specifically for international student funding. And if you scroll down, you will see the different kinds of funding for international students. Some of them are small, some of them are large. And the good thing is that there is something for everybody. You can see this one is um, 40,000 Canadian dollars. But it's actually for just Iranian students. But you can go down and get more general scholarships for different kinds of students, regardless of the country you're coming from. For instance, look at this one, the Kilham Predoctoral Scholarship. And this is um, 25,000 per year quite interesting and usually the masters in in canada is often two years so you get close to fifty thousand per um, um in total and of course this is for the phd and it's up to uh, over forty thousand so it's quite interesting there are other opportunities of course some 15 some 10. the way you can take advantage of this numerous scholarship most times is to apply for what they call the harmonized scholarship so i'll show you i'll show you what that means shortly so let's click on this kilham to just see what it means and then i'll show you how to apply for actually multiple not just this one for multiple funding so for the kilham you can see the words and it was increased recently as well in may this year so an international student can get also 2500 extra and relocation allowance if you're eligible so apart from this amount of money you get this one extra as well so it's getting to like um 45 there about and then you also get relocation allowance i remember it's for thesis based masters we'll be coming to this shortly what does this mean so these are general info about the scholarship, what it covers, and things like that. This is the relocation bit, the information about relocation allowance, which is good. Things about parental leave, which is also great. And then how to apply, most importantly, how to apply. So at this university, there's something called the harmonized scholarship process. This enables you to pulling money from lots of sources so it means apart from the kilam that we saw just now that we're seeing now you can go back to the page we started and they'll look for any other scholarship you qualify for and then add it to your eventual or your final um, offer so apart from the forty you you'll be getting from kilham there might just be other opportunities as well that you might qualify for and this harmonized scholarship will help you get it also remember that you have the kilam scholarship for the doctoral level so we can always look at this as well and see what it entails of course you expect to be paid more if you're um, what they call it a doctoral student than just a PhD student. So you have more pots, more um, funding opportunities. So apart from the um, 40 or 42,000, or depending on the amount of money, there might be more funding opportunities for PhD students than for um, the master's students. So you can see the different kinds of funding here um, for PhD and for master's. And as I said, there are multiple other pots of funding that you can get your money from and get funded from. So let's let's look at this harmonized um, process quickly. What does it entail? So it is open. You can apply for it. It is a portal where you apply for funding. 
and then it pulls there's also a video here by the way where you can understand what it means then it pulls from different sources pulls funding from different sources so you can apply for multiple opportunities through um, just this harmonized process then but how do you apply just click on the apply button not yet actually because if you click on this it shows you this but remember you've not applied for a course yet you do not have a, a university account so it means you cannot apply directly you have to search for one of the graduate programs and this is the list of the graduate programs in case you're wondering how i got here so i went to programs clicked on the tab and i got to the graduate programs so you have to look at the graduate programs here apply for them get a student number get a student account and then rush to the um, harmonized process portal and apply it there as well so for instance if i'm interested in a master's in agricultural science so i go straight here to agricultural science I go to Master's Agricultural Science. So I quickly look at what it entails, the different sub departments. And let's say I'm interested in animal science. So these are the areas covered under animal science. And then for admissions, you can see the relevant documents here you need to put together for admissions. Then it said, please note that confirmed supervision by a member or faculty of the of the faculty of agriculture is required to be admitted to a graduate program so you need somebody in the department you need a professor in the department to say yes go ahead i support your application so how do you get a professor you send them an email so here we've, we'll look for the emails of different professors remember i said i'm interested in animal science and things like that so I'll look for staff and faculty in animal science and see if I can get their contacts. So these are the guys working in animal science at the Housey University. So what you do here is that you get in contact with them, then you send them a cold email. And what does this mean? You introduce yourself to them and say, my name is this, I'm from this country, I have a bachelor's degree in this discipline, I graduated with this um, um, with this grade, I have this experience, and I'm interested in a, a master's course at your university and uh, this is my area of interest and i think it aligns with yours it would be great to work under your tutelage it is great to, be, to work under your um, supervision and i would need your support for my application uh, moving forward because the department requires us to get the approval of a supervisor before we even start applying you can always attach a copy of your of your cv a copy of your if you have a publication you can put it there as well it's often a good thing it um, helps your application i'll be leaving a video to how to apply to a supervisor in the link in the description so do not worry so you send them um, an email and when you get the approval then you proceed with the application and um, having said that having said that it's also important to mention that there is this um, english language requirement it gets a little bit scary here but do not worry it's already written here that it is possible to get a waiver if you already studied in the english language so look at it here it is possible to have this requirement waived if this requirement by the way is the english language test waived if you completed your degree at a recognized university where the language of instruction is english and in a country where english is one of the official languages you'll be able to request this waiver during the application process so good news if you already studied in the english language um, a country where english is largely spoken you can always um, ask for a waiver during the application process so you do not need to write any of the IELTS or the TOEFL mm -hmm. um, just one problem or one issue is that um, application fees apply mm -hmm. so for the majority of Canadian universities you need to pay application fees and um, I must say um, there's very little we can do about that unfortunately and it might vary depending on the university so check around check what the house is um, asking for
for application fees. So yes, look around the Kilam scholarship. Remember, you cannot apply for the scholarship if you do not have a student account. And to get a student account, you have to apply for one of the eligible courses. So you can see here it's asking you for a login um, details and things like that. To get that, you have to apply for one of the eligible courses. And that is why I took you here to the Department of Agriculture to illustrate what I mean how to apply, check for the requirements and things like that. So go to your own department and see what they require. It's a very long list here of departments. Check and um, see their own applications requirements and see whether you need to contact the professor or not. If you're confused, you can always contact somebody. There's always a contact person, either the head of the department, the secretary of the department. There's often somebody you can talk to, an email you can an email address where you can make inquiries. So always ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions, especially directly to those in the department you intend to apply to. So instead of asking a random friend or even asking me, why not ask the department directly? Because they'll give you direct information on how to navigate this. And if you're intending to contact a professor, you're not sure, you can always also go to the department and say, this is the professor I have in mind. Um, can I go ahead? Oh, I've contacted this professor already. I'm not getting a response. Can I contact a different professor? So these are the kinds of questions you can ask them. And you see an email um, address here as a, the, the point of contact. So thank you very much for listening. I hope this was useful. Fully funded at the House University with lots of funding opportunities. And you can apply for numerous opportunities with the harmonized process we talked about. So if you've not subscribed already, kindly do so. There are many more scholarships coming your way from different countries around the world. There are already many more on the channel, by the way. So look around. I'm sure you find something that interests you. And as usual, guys, we cannot wait to celebrate you. It's the application season. Lots of people are already submitting applications. Lots of people are already waiting for the outcomes of the applications. So do not be left out of this excitement and I'll see you at the top sooner than later. Bye-bye um, for now.